Way to Hodgson. And now Austin runs. He hasn't taken on the line so far. He's gone to ground here with a problem, Blake Austin. There were six charges over the weekend. Uh, we'll start with Thursday night. Yeah, well, we saw the grade one careless high tackle for Joel Thompson uh, for his contact with Raiders 5'8", uh, Blake Austin. Uh, you can see the direct contact here uh, to the face, and uh, it was forceful. Uh, nonetheless, so a grade one was applicable there and uh, he's taken the early plea, so uh, he'll serve his match suspension this weekend. And we saw on Friday night Parramatta against South, so were two tripping uh, incidents out of that uh, one particular game. Yeah, Isaac de Goose was the first one. Uh, his uh, leg made contact here with uh, Rabbitohs hooker Cameron McInnes. Uh, and the second one was Bo Scott, who also made contact with uh, the halfback, Adam Reynolds. Um, so both uh, will escape suspension with an early plea. And a couple of charges out of Saturday night, we had uh, Panthers against the Warriors as well as Manly against the Broncos. Yeah, over in Christchurch, uh, a big game over there, but uh, the Warriors, Solomon Carter uh, with a grade one dangerous contact head neck uh, for his grapple tackle on Panthers 5'8", Jamie Soward. Uh, and the uh, more topical one, I guess, is the Marty Tapao uh, grade two dangerous throw for his lifting tackle on Matt Gillette from the Broncos. Uh, Marty Tapao is looking at a, a three-week suspension with an early plea uh, or four weeks with a, uh, uh, at the judiciary. And finally, one charge out of uh, Sunday's match, the Bulldogs against the West Tigers. Yeah, there was, and that was on West Tigers fullback uh, Justin Hunt for his contact on Moses Embai uh, from the uh, Bulldogs there. Uh, that was a grade two careless high tackle, so he will es escape suspension uh, with an early plea. Okay, now we head back to Friday night and there was a hint of a forearm from Greg Inglis on, uh, on Eels player Kenny Edwards, but no charge there by the match review committee. Yeah, you can see the uh, contact there from Inglis. Um, it was in deemed incidental by the match review committee. Um, he's maintained contact throughout the whole process as he's taken him down to the ground. Uh, and it was a little bit unfortunately that the, uh, the elbow did come in contact with his head as he did come to the ground, but uh, certainly deemed incidental and no charge uh, for Greg Inglis. And there was also no charge for this tackle by Sam McKendry on Tuamawala Lolahea. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you can see here uh, McKendry um, going in for the tackle. Uh, he does apply pressure to the back of the head of Lolahea. However, the, uh, the uh, actions by Lolahea in terms of him sitting in the tackle probably was the main contributor to the way the tackle ended up. So Sam McKendry uh, escapes any sort of suspension there or any charge uh, based on his actions not being deemed careless. Okay, well thanks for joining us Mick. Pleasure Jacko, thank you.